Let's take a look at our three PicoMite VGA card builds, plus one prototype build. Our first build was on prototype cards that we have. Uh, we used the breakout card for the Pico that broke out all the pins and cabled that over to a VGA breakout card that we have and a PS2 breakout card and an SD card breakout. And then we built up a little audio filter card and altogether that convinced us this was a nice little product and good way to go. There's a video on that build that does all the proper credits to the guys who designed it and you can find that here on our YouTube channel. Our first build onto a card is called the Pi PicoMite 01 card. It's available for sale on Tindy and it includes the Raspberry Pi Pico of course and the same breakout pins. It also has the keyboard PS2 connector shown on the bottom left, an SD card connector or an SD card socket, an audio connector for the stereo audio out and the filter built onto the card, VGA, which is the 121 or 16 color VGA. It also adds the extra feature of a GPIO 16 bit port expander so that two of the I squared C pins can be broken out from the Pico onto 16 bits of GPIO shown in the upper right side of the picture. There is a 5 volt power jack in the back side that is a full size USB power jack for powering the card reliably without hooking up to the USB on the Pico itself. Uh, it's a fine little card. We liked it. It works quite well. It's 120 by 70 millimeters and a good little standalone card. Sold a good handful of those already. Our second version of the card is called the Pi PicoMite 02. It's the same design as a PicoMite 01 but on a different form factor and it adds an extra 16 bits for a total of 32 bits of GPIO taken off the same I squared C port. It also adds a DB37 connector, sort of industrializes the design. We built it on our form factor that we call ODAS, which is an open data acquisition system format. And it's used for our test stations right now for testing other cards. We take our I squared C cards that we want to test and connect them up to the I to C zero connector at the upper left corner of the card. And it has all the same other connections, VGA, PS2, 5 volts, audio, SD cards. But having the mil spec, or not mil spec, the <laughs> commercial spec DB37 connector allows a more sort of industrialized way of connecting up to the card. Uh, much easier to put in and out of uh, something than hooking up to ribbon connectors. Uh, I like it quite a bit and have done quite a bit of test card design or test card test designs with the card. And uh, it's quite a, quite a nice little design as well. A little bit bigger form factor being 95 by 95. So it's a little shorter in one dimension, a little wider in the other. But fits well into our ODAS family of cards and is a very nice little controller for controlling things that are in our ODAS family, which by and large are I2C cards. So it's another good option, uh, also available up on Tindy. Uh, at the moment it's up as a bare card. You can populate it yourself, and we occasionally build some and put them up on Tindy as well. Our third version of the card is the same as the previous two versions, but without a port expander. It's a uh, sort of an easier to build card. It's why I like it. But the real advantage of it is it can be put into an, a standard extruded aluminum enclosure. It's a little bit smaller than 70 by 100 millimeters. So it fits in a 100 millimeter by 76 extruded aluminum chassis. And very nice little compact design. Uh, has all the features of the previous cards without the expansion. Uh, which isn't necessary for a lot of designs and applications or a lot of uses. It has the same VGA, 5 volts, audio, keyboard jack, and SD card. Both uh, connectors and socket, those are all brought out to the edges so that they 
front panels can be punched or cut for the extruded aluminum chassis and it can be in a nice little tight very small little aluminum extracted aluminum extruded <laughs> chassis in the end uh, I like this design quite a bit it's easier for us to build so we'll probably be building more of these and offering them up on Tindy it's also available as a card if you want a PCB if you just want to build it up yourself uh, I think we offered it at a pretty good price and uh, pretty decent lead time we can build build these up in decent sized batches too just because of the ease of building them here's a picture of the Pico Mito 3 in the extruded aluminum chassis it sits in a channel in the bottom of the chassis so it doesn't move around it's a little t little tiny tiny bit smaller in both dimensions but it, it slides in quite nicely and gives a little bit of mechanical slop room there all the connectors are flush to the edge of the card even though this picture doesn't exactly show that just because of the the view they all fit flush to the front and back connectors of the chassis itself and if you cut some notches and holes and drill drill a few things you can have a nice little standalone chassis design uh, the chassis are available on eBay and other places and they're around 10 bucks right now let's take a look at some demos to put the card through its paces the commands are very similar to base to what you would have when you run Linux or DOS uh, more like Linux with the CHDIR you have to put the pass in quotes double quotes if you type files it does a directory listing of that folder that you have you can have folders obviously on the SD card we should be able to play some sound here as well and I'm gonna make a typo the one of the nice things here is you can do the up arrows to go up and down through the scroll through the type buffer that you had from typing before and here's the sound Play stop will stop the sound. Files gets us the two folders. I have a basic folder and a wave folder. Let's go over to the basic folder. And I've got a few demo pieces of software in there. And let's see what we have. What do we want to try first? Let's load the colors demo. British spelling, folks. Loads very quickly. Run the program. And here's the 16 colors. Might not show up great on the monitor, but they were there and nice. There's one bit of red, one bit of blue, and two bits of green, which give you the 16 colors. Let's run another demo, the fonts demo. So a nice set of fonts for the screen. And a pretty simple program example here of what it took to write the fonts. All right, let's uh, load the next program that has, has me addicted. I've been playing this more than I've been doing anything else. It's a clone of the classic Tetris and a pretty nice clone. Doesn't have sound. Wish it did. It'd be nice if it did. Might not be too hard to add it, but it's written in basic and it runs very well. It's a little hard to play the game when you're sitting off to the side of the monitor, so I'm going to mess up badly here pretty quickly. I already messed up but it's a very playable game and really starts to show some of the features and capabilities of the Pico running MM basic it's quite a nice project the guys that designed this did definitely uh, 
this game addicted me back in the day, and I'm still an addict years later. Anytime I'd get a chance to play it, I would burn through hours. I'm sure many of you as well. Hit escape to exit it, and you're out. All right, let's take a look at a GPIO demo of the card. Uh, when MM Basic is running, the light does blink on the card. And I've hooked up uh, 16 LEDs to the card and a little demo card that I have. And the GPIO is 16 bit expander, is writing out all 16 bits one at a time across the LEDs. And any key to escape it. And let's take a look at the listing very quickly. It's got all the MCP 23017 ports listed as well as the initialization code, and that's really all the code that was required to do that. Works quite nicely. Here's a look closer at the card running it again. Hopefully this gave you a taste of some of the features that the card can do. It's a very nice card. If you want more information, you can see our wiki pages for these products, and we have YouTube videos on them as well. We have a store in Tindy where we sell all of our cards. Thanks for watching our video, and if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.